Welcome to Drawfee, where we take your dumb ideas and make even dumber drawings. I'm Julia. I'm Jacob. <laughs> and uh, today we're doing a suggestion plucked from the comments ever so nicely. The low-hanging fruit. Ripe. Ripe for the plucking. Full of juice. Hey, you want to know who suggested this? Who? Dishonest Vagina. Dishonest Vagina? Dishonest Vagina. I regret saying full of juice. Yeah. That was a bad start. Yeah, this whole start is wrong. <laughs> but you know what? What? It's almost appropriate because we're doing today gritty adult reboots of old cartoons such as Inspector Gadget, Popeye, and Betty Boop. That's a really good suggestion, but I don't know if I can trust Dishonest Vagina. I know. Maybe also, they know something we don't. I... Dismiss the notion that Inspector Gadget is old. Inspector Gadget's pretty old. No, it started when we were kids. That's old. What? We're 30 years old. No. A lot of people that watch this weren't even born but like, for like another decade. Oh my God. Inspector Gadget's being lumped in with Popeye and Betty Boop. Well, come yeah, on. Those, those are much older. Those are much older. Um, I'm going with you know a cartoon that I have nostalgia for. I know that okay. Dishonest Vagina listed options there, but I'm choosing none of them, as is my way. Well, because they're dishonest. They're dishonest. I can't trust that. Um, all I can trust is myself. Yep. And I was thinking of rebooting Doug. Ooh. One from my own childhood. A nice neighborhood friend, Doug Funny. So I think I'm going to start with maybe a Doug. I kind of have an idea for this. Okay. <clears throat> the uh, the intro to this would definitely be like a haunting version of the the Doug yeah, song. Some like whispery tones. And... Yeah, and kind of like a, a distant ghostly voice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely <laughs> slowed down. Maybe a sigh is in there. <sighs> <laughs> you know, so here's what I'm thinking for the Doug Funny reboot. And this not necessarily what you have to do. Doug Funny gritty reboot. I'm picturing like, you know, Doug Funny, your neighborhood boy, who's also Quail Man, just trying to, he's basically like a modern day Charlie Brown. He's just doing his best to try to help his friends. What if it's like, what about his sad episodes? You know, what about his down days? I mean... Here's the thing, Julia. Yeah? I was thinking of that as well. Oh, okay. What you failed to consider here mm -hmm. is that I've got a direction here, and oh, I yeah. refuse to deviate from this path that I, mean, I have again, set myself upon. I'm not telling you what to do. Doug has had some sad days, and that, that maybe has. is what's led him to where he is now. Yeah. Um, you know, one too many sad days, one Pork too many- getting old. One too yeah. many rejections yeah. um, from his, his, his one true love, Patty Mayonnaise. Patty Mayonnaise. Uh, has led Doug to become a murderer. Oh. Doug is a serial killer. Oh, the, oh the, you, you took a hard turn. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Patty's dead. So you're, wow. Doug killed Patty. What? Doug killed Patty. What, what are you doing to my boy? This is a gritty reboot. It's not just like a somber adult reboot. It's a gritty reboot. Oh, okay. So Doug, in a fit of, of jealousy, Doug caught Patty with Skeeter. Wow. And, you know, they weren't in a relationship. Yeah. Patty was in the right. Yeah. But you Doug. Know, she was just hanging out with her friends. In a, in a wild fit of, of, of jealous rage. Yeah. You know, tired of always being the one who's, like, pooped on by everybody. Yeah. Doug said, I'm taking matters into my own hands. And then in, his, in a fit of rage, he, he murdered Patty. Wow. And, um, and he, he ran off. Patty and Skeeter both. Ah, uh, he murdered them both? Removed from this world by Doug's hand. I mean, Skeeter had it coming, let's be. Wait, no, not Skeeter. I'm thinking of Skeeter was, Skeeter was nice. Who's the bad boy? Roger Klotz. Roger Klotz. Now, here's what you fail to understand about this okay. new series. I was thinking Roger Klotz. I'm sorry for besmirching Skeeter's good and kind name. You you need to withhold your judgments. Okay. Because this is like years down the, the line, right? So they're right, in like yeah. their 20s. It's kind of like a Riverdale situation where it's like murder, yeah. murder, hot murder teens, but they're in their 20s. Murder they wrote. Yeah. Murder they wrote. Um, Roger's the only one who saw the crime. Mm. And this is, this is a different Roger than the one you knew. This is okay. a Roger who's looking to make amends, a Roger who's starting a family. Okay. But Roger has seen what Doug did and he can't rest until Doug is brought to justice. Oh, I see. Uh, so Roger's actually our hero now. 
Okay. It's, if it's a gritty reboot, you know, you make the yeah. villains into heroes, heroes into villains. It's like Dexter. You know, he's been down the the big dark pit of of gloominess and crime. Yeah, Roger went to therapy. Yeah. Roger got his his stuff together. Got his life, you know, improved, saw that he wasn't the person that he could be or should be and, you know, looked to fix that. This is a blood splatter across Oh, Doug's. this is this is just post murder, huh? Uh, well, Doug, you know, it, it, something broke in him okay. after he committed these heinous crimes. Right. And um, he has gone on to continue a killing spree throughout Bluffington? Is that the town's name? Yeah, because isn't, what's her face, BB Bluff? She is, yeah. And her, I'm, I'm assuming that her family owns that town. Because you know what? She thinks big. She does think big. And uh, you know she's on Doug's list. Oh, yeah. Because she gave Doug shit one too many times. Well, to be fair, she gave everyone shit. She gave everyone shit, but... She was just a shit herself. Y you never know. When you're when you're doling out the shit, you never know when the shit's going to come back to get you. That's true. And the shit's name is Doug Funny. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, man, would the tagline for the show be like, things ain't funny anymore? Things ain't funny anymore. I was thinking that the show would just be called Funny. Oh. This week on Funny. Yeah. It's like one of those like grim, humorous takes. Or would it be like Doug, as in D-U-G, like all the graves he's digging? That's a little too punny mm. for me, personally. Okay. okay. Um, there, there, are, there will be a lot of puns in the show. Yeah. But you want it to be like that prestige television where it's just like one word, like- uh, Like Doug. Well, you know, like, I'm thinking like uh, funny has multiple meanings because the show was originally more of a comedy for kids. Like Doug. Shit ain't funny anymore. <laughs> yeah. No, I do like funny. Uh, it's good because that's what I'm calling it. I could I could see this being on uh, like a what's what's the channel that True Detective was on HBO. It's Showtime. Showtime. I could see this. Is it see on Showtime? I don't know. It's I think it was on them. Showtime. Whatever HBO? the one. <laughs> Stars. Whatever. Crackle. <laughs> Crunchyroll? College Humor's Dropout? <laughs> He's got a Honker Burger. Oh, good. That's It's his calling card. He leaves yeah. a Honker Burger behind. <laughs> Why do you remember what the burger is called? How I could you forget? I was impressed that I remembered, you know, Pork Chop and BB Bluff, and you're just coming out with a Honker Burger. Honker Burger has stuck with me throughout the years. Um, so that, yeah. I don't think that was literally ever in my brain, the Honker Burger. It is now. What was the, um, didn't he have like an old man? I mean, this was the 90s, so if it took place in a neighborhood, they always had like old men neighbors. Oh, the, the, his neighbor was um, Mr. Dink. Yeah, Mr. Dink. That's very expensive, Douglas. It's always showing Doug all of his like inventions and, and his high tech mm. uh, bullshit. As you do when you're a retiree, I suppose. Uh, and maybe like, I think Mr. Dink has like gone fully senile by this point. Yeah. And he's still like providing Doug with these tools that Doug is using to do murder. But Mr. Oh. Dink, you know, he only sees in the past. He doesn't realize. Yeah. Um, wow, this is grim, huh? It's Yeah, it's very grim. It's very dark for adults because adults only like murder, dark, sad, yeah. awful, yeah. bummer shows. Because we can look at it and go, at least I'm not that. Yeah. It's like it's if you want to be mature, you have to yeah. watch people get murdered. <laughs> All the time. All the time. This is adulthood. Adulthood is murder. Um, so this is going to be Roger over here. Okay. Uh, stern Roger, who's Roger's still like he's grappling with his own, his own past. Mm -hmm. You know, so he like he looks into the distance. He's like, I know I've done a lot of wrong. His jaw got stronger. He it really <laughs> did. He grew to be a buff boy. And he still has his sort of like weird, bacon undercut. Yeah. I keep looking at it. It's so. How does this work? It's so like indicative of the '90s. I don't know. Make it work for you. Maybe it is an undercut haircut now. You know, he's older. Maybe so. Maybe it's like flopped it over a bit. Yeah. It's still his, it's still his bacony undercut, but it's kind of flopped over sideways. Yeah, it's an uncooked bacon this time. Yeah, he doesn't have like the energy he once had as a youth. Yeah. But he's determined to to make things right. Mm hmm For Patty's sake, we got to do this for Patty. Remember the mayonnaise. The only thing I remember about Patty Mayonnaise was that that was my mom's favorite cartoon character of the 90s. Patty Mayonnaise? Yeah. Why? Just a nice girl. 
doing her best. Every time you explain to me like one of your mom's favorite characters in anything, it's like <laughs> just a nice person who's just trying hard. You know, my mom appreciates a character that's nice and is just trying to live. Nice and trying to live. <laughs> it's true, though. All of her favorite characters are just nice and trying to live. He looks determined, I gotta say. He is determined. He's gonna make things right. Yeah. And in doing so, he want, he hopes to redeem himself. Yeah. You know, he wants to redeem his past by saving the future. I get that. And he does, you know, he's gonna have a cigarette. He's gonna make this town better for, you know, his kids. Yeah, for his kids someday. Yeah. And like the... I won't let them repeat the mistakes I made. You know, I was born in a broken home and it made me do a lot of things I regret and I want to make sure my kids never have to experience that. Because the town still sees him as sort of like this bad boy. What was Doug's sister's name? Judy? Judy, yeah. So her name's Judy Funny. Judy Funny. Judy Funny. Judy, Judy Funny. Judy Funny. You know Judy? Judy? Judy Funny. Judy Funny. Um, which is ironic because she's a beatnik what doesn't want to be funny ever. No, funny is not. She doesn't want to be anything except gritty. Yeah, she's very gritty. She's the true adult in this show. She wants to be like cool and respected. Yeah, and like just recite poems. And yeah, then it would just be like the title up here is kind of like in that same like Doug, you know, Mm -hmm. font where it's kind of like squiggly and all over the place. Yeah. But the reason you know it's an adult show Mm -hmm. is that there's a period at the end. (gasps) Funny. Because that's not funny. Coming this fall. No. That's serious. To ABC Family. It's a statement. <laughs> ABC Does... Family? Yeah, it's going to air alongside Riverdale. I don't think it's called ABC Family anymore. Oh, it's called like Crossfade or something now. What's it called? <laughs> it's called Undercut. It's called Undercut. <laughs> What's it called? It's got a new name. I actually legitimately don't remember. Hold on. Freeform. 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 It's called Freeform. Freeform. Crossfade? Yeah. <laughs> it's called Crossfade. I think you were thinking of the 90s toy <laughs> Crossfire. You will be caught a Crossfire. Fire. Coming this summer to Crossfade. <laughs> Funny. Funny. All right, it's my turn. And then it would be like at the end of the trailer, like the screen would go black and you would just hear like a honk honk. <laughs> that's a, that's a, the, the trailer for season two when Skeeter comes back and it, it's revealed that Skeeter was not dead. Oh, and then Skeeter's out for revenge. Yeah, Skeeter's out for blood then. Yeah. Okay, this is my gritty reboot of Doug. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to pass it over to you. I'm ready for you to reboot something. Hell yeah, let me in. Get your boots in here. So you did such a good tale with Doug that I literally don't know what I'm going to be doing for mine. I do know that I want to draw Inspector Gadget. Oh, of course. It's a trench coat, man. How could you not draw it? (laughs) He's a... He's a, a bumbling trench coat detective. He is a bumbling trench coat detective. He's like an idiot Sherlock yeah. robot. So I'm thinking like, what's his daughter or his niece's Penny? name? Penny. Yeah. What is she? Is she his niece? I think she's like, I think she just showed up one day. <laughs> <laughs> is this going to be like a Penny focused I don't know. You know, series? I was thinking a, an Inspector Gadget focused one, but he, I feel like he's such an idiot that it might have to be Penny. I feel yeah. like Penny takes up the mantle of Inspector Gadget. Like, Inspector Gadget, like, something happens to him, you know? Like, he bumbles his way into actually being murdered. Yeah, Dr. Know? Claw finally gets his hands on him. Yeah, so maybe Penny's out for revenge for the murder of her uncle or whatever Inspector Gadget is to him because I was never sure on that. Yeah, I think it was uncle. For I want to say strange uncle. man that she has uh, teamed up with. Yeah, so maybe like Penny has, in order to like fight Dr. Claw, yeah, the only way she knows how, she's, she's willfully gotten herself augmented, you know, had her body replaced with robot parts mm-hmm. so that she can fight the way that her uncle did. Yeah. And I assume it's a very painful process. Yeah. The um, body replacement surgery. <laughs> yeah, to become a robot like her uncle. Yeah. Yeah. I True. always wondered, like, what happened to Inspector Gadget? Was he in an accident? It seems like the kind of thing that they would explain in the theme song, you know? Because the 90s were all about, like, yeah. hey, there was a tragic accident and this dude should have died. Yeah. Anyway, they're fine. <laughs> you're like, what? Now he's part robot and he's fighting aliens in the street. Yeah, and you're just like, I, uh, cool. 
He went through years of physical therapy to recover <laughs> from the accident. That would explain okay. why he's such an idiot. That's true. Lingering like brain trauma. Yeah, and they're just like, ooh, let's erase the part of his brain that doesn't, you know, let him dwell on the fact that this has been done to him. Oh, maybe. Yeah. I'm my brain's working now. Okay. My gritty reboot brain. Okay. The accident he was in, he he was in the car with his brother or sister who was Penny's parent. <gasps> he was in the car with Penny's parents. Wow. And he was driving. Uh-huh. And he was drunk. Oh my god. <laughs> he was an alcoholic. <laughs> All right. And he and he got into an accident and Penny's parents died because of him. <gasps> And when they rebuilt him, he lost his memory of, of that happening. Mm -hmm. I like this. And she has to discover, maybe she discovers during this season that it was actually, you know, not Dr. Claw responsible for her parents' death, but it was Inspector Gadget's irresponsible lifestyle choices. Yeah, I mean, spoiler alert for the end of the season when this show definitely comes out. Yeah. Like, that's the last episode. You know, she's like so transfixed on, like, you know, finding Dr. Claw. Yeah. And, you know, getting revenge for her parents. And then she gets to him, finally. She corners him in his office or wherever they his are. His office. Where, where does he? He, like, works in a car or something. It's <laughs> I don't so think bizarre. He, works in a car. he has, like, a car that has, like, a TV screen. Like, you only ever see his hand in his weird little, like... I always thought he was in, like, a weird volcano lair or some shit. Uh, why did I, I think could he be wrong. in a car? Could no, be I, could be, I could be wrong. It looks like he's in a car in that one picture on, on the, in the Google page up there. Yeah. Also, he drinks and drives. He quite often has, like, wine in his car. Does he? So, like, is everyone just kind of an alcoholic in this show? Is Inspector Gadget Dr. Claw? <gasps> he, oh. his, he regained his memories... I was going to say that the reveal at the end of season one was that, you know, Inspector Gadget was the true murderer of her parents, but maybe, maybe it's that it was actually Inspector Gadget that killed her parents, and also Inspector Gadget is <laughs> Dr. Claw. Well, I think, like, Inspector Gadget, she thought he was dead, right. but really Inspector Gadget killed Dr. Claw, but in the, the battle, oh. he regained his memories, saw himself as the monster. I see. And took up the mantle. Yes. Of Claw. And so Penny has to face down with her uncle. Right. Whom she once loved as a parent. Right. She I has like to that. make the moral choice. Do I join up with him? Right. Or do I stop him before he does more harm? Hmm. I like this. I want this like. very moody so far. Thank you. That's what I'm going for. You know, I'm, I'm thinking like the grittiest show I know in that it was so gritty I couldn't watch it because I just wasn't enjoying it because there was nothing to enjoy and that's the part of the show is True Detective. Mm -hmm. And they got a lot of this like face and face stuff going on in the intro. Oh yeah, you're going to make like one of those cool posters. Yeah, so I want like she's in the shadow of, of Dr. Claw. Yeah. You know, like she's- But also she's inside of Dr. Claw, <laughs> you know? But she's also, a part she's of like, him too, it's a hint. I mean, she is part of him. Yeah. You know, it's they're related. So, like all good posters, you look at it after you've seen the whole series and you say, I see now why was, these design elements were chosen. This was a hint at the truth. There was so much foreshadowing. Yeah. Let's not make her look like she was looking at like a piece of toast that was too toasted. She was just <laughs> like, well, that's, that's fine. Ugh. Again. <laughs> she just <laughs> looked very blase for a moment there. So I feel like she's older. She should be wearing like Inspector Gadget's like clothes, you I know, think a little so, bit. Yeah. Because like, I think I it, like... it could be a story about, you know, taking up the mantles of your predecessors. Yeah. Like she's become the new Gadget, but Gadget's become the new Claw. Oh, I like this. And then who's the new Penny? <laughs> the dog? <laughs> <laughs> the dog is, is dead. It was the dog. Like name? I have bad news. The dog is definitely dead by this point. Yeah, I mean it's been it's been a while, you yeah. know. Maybe she's like <laughs> looking at a locket photo of the dog. <laughs> Then it looks like she's trying to, she's like John wicking this in that yeah. she wants revenge for her dog. Maybe Dr. Claw killed the dog. <laughs> There's a lot going on with Dr. Claw. He's a villain. I mean, yeah, but he just has so many elements to him. I mean, the dog was always out there in the, in the fray with them in the path of danger. You know a show is well written when they just whole, they just put every sort of twist on the villain to keep it interesting. Yeah. <laughs> This is why I am a writer mm -hmm. for Prestige Television. Secretly. For for Crossfade? For Crossfade, the new network. Yeah. 
ABC's Crossfade, where I'm the only writer, and it's only <laughs> reboots of gritty children's cartoons. You, we keep saying gritty, and I'm only picturing the the hockey mascot. Gritty. I know you've got gritty in my head too because of your random brush challenge. <laughs> yeah, gritty drawing. Should she also be wearing his hat? You know, or should it be like should she be looking at the hat? Oh, looking at the hat. I like that. Looking at the hat. And inside that hat, a picture of the dog. The dog. <laughs> She's a magician now. <laughs> She's pulling it out, pulling it out of the hat. Yeah, I like her looking down at the hat, like as if to say, like, should I? Like, am I worthy yeah. of donning this costume? But if I don't, then who will? Who will get revenge for my parents slash uncle slash dog? Dog. A lot of people are dead, all right? Everyone I know is dead. She also <laughs> needs to have, like, because it's one of those shows, uh -huh. she needs to have, like, a boyfriend that you don't really care about. And you kind of wish that the, the boyfriend B plot just wasn't there because it just kind of fills time. He's, like, very much not worth her. Yeah. You're like, this This boy is an idiot. And also he's like annoyed that you spend so much time like investigating murders instead of going to the movies with him and his stupid friend Chase. Which is a reasonable complaint. But also we're, you're watching a TV show. You don't want that. You're, we we want to see you solve the murders. We don't want to see you have crises over whether or not you should be solving the murders. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like if it were real life. Julia, and you were running around solving murders all the time and you never hung out with me, I would probably be like, this relationship kind of sucks. <laughs> <laughs> she, she's only obsessed with the past. Yeah, no, it's, uh, it's fair. But again, TV show. Yeah, TV show, get, get to the murder solving. Because then in real life, you're like, oh, no, I understand where you're coming from and I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, in the show, you're like, oh, you never spend time with me. And it's like, oh, just oh, fucking God. Dr. Claw, kill this guy. Dr. Please. Paul, come on. Kill this guy so Penny can get out there and start doing battle. And then they try to use it as like a plot device of like, you know, oh no, the boyfriend's been kidnapped because you're supposed to care about him. But I'm like, I don't. Yeah, I, I don't. don't. That's the problem. I don't. I want him to go away so that this rad character can keep investigating yeah. uh, some crimes. The boyfriend's like the, the froggy, froggy Nelson <laughs> from Daredevil. Yeah. <laughs> I know his name is Foggy. Froggy Don't Nelson. at me. I'm making a joke, you guys. If I see one correction in the comments, I'm going to lose my fucking mind. You know, you said Froggy, and I was like, no, that's right. <laughs> and I've watched Daredevil. I've watched one and a half seasons of Daredevil, but I've watched Daredevil. Yeah. We know his name's not Froggy, but it's pretty close, and he does it's look kind of Froggy. Yeah. He looks like a Froggy. I also absolutely did not really care about him in the show, even though, you know, he was like, Unrealistic in his support of this mad man. Yeah. Her boyfriend in this in this show is named Froggy and is played by the actor that plays Foggy. <laughs> well, I guess I'm this character again, huh? <laughs> it's like, no, just do the exact same character, but this time your name is Froggy. It's like, are you Should sure? Like... Oh, I'm, a, I'm a lawyer and everything? Yep, all the same. All the same. You're just Froggy this time. We need We need just some... Some mood lighting. I mean, I'll get it in post with the the render, but you know, I yeah, just you want to you want to hint at it now. You want to show. Yeah, I want to get that this, that mood. I really want to establish this mood. A lot of murder in our gritty reboots, but again, they're gritty. They're gritty. How can you be gritty without murder? I know that's the whole point of dark and gritty. It's impossible. Imagine if you watched Game of Thrones and everyone was just fucking chilling the whole time. <laughs> A not... lot of my favorite characters would still be alive. <laughs> it's but not yeah. very Whoops. gritty. At that point, is it? Yeah, I agree. We've rebooted the, the most pleasant of 90s shows, Doug and Inspector Gadget, mm -hmm, a mm -hmm. tale of a bumbling idiot. These are the first two shows on Crossfade. On Crossfade. Uh, if you want to see more shows on Crossfade, <laughs> uh, let us know in the comments if you like this kind of video. This is a lot of fun to do. Yeah. Um, I think there's definitely more we could mine for gritty reboot versions. Absolutely. Um, so yeah, let us know if you like this, if you want to see more like it. Let us know if you like us and want to see us mm -hmm. in your dreams every night. Oh, I can't make it. I have prior engagements. Wow. We're sorry. <laughs> sorry. Hello, friends. If you enjoyed that episode of Dropy, you should know that the best way to support us is to sign up for Dropout. For less than the cost of a very mediocre sandwich per month, you will get access to Dropy videos a week early, you can talk to us on the Discord, and also there's exclusive series you can watch like Nathan's very own Cartoon Hell and Dimension 20. 
Uh, if you're interested, sign up at dropout.tv for a free trial, and I will put you on my list of very good boys, which I read every night before bed, and I give individual kisses to each name on the list.